being a child in war, it's, uh, it's difficult. Uh, and I had no desire to really survive because I'd lost everything. Uh, my name is Ishmael Bea. I am uh, an author and I'm also a human rights activist. By age 13, I had been recruited into the army uh, and I was fighting as a soldier. When the war finally came to my part of the country, I was 12 years old and I started running from it. I lost everything, you know. Um, my immediate family was killed in the war, so my mother, father and two brothers. You learned to function in madness very quickly. You have to adapt to your situation in order to survive. And often you're exposed to extreme levels of violence that you've never even heard of. There was a lot of hardship. We had lots of arms and ammunition, but no food, uh, no medicine, and uh, lots of drugs. But also when you've lost family and everything, you, you quickly learn to belong to this group. But to belong to this new group required violence. Violence became the way to show loyalty. Well, there were several things that gave me hope. One of them was when I was a boy, my father used to say to me, if you're alive, there's a possibility that something good would happen to you. That if none of those possibilities exist in your life anymore, you would die. And while we had gone on one of these missions, uh, there were few people who showed up. Uh, and I vividly remember them wearing this uh, thing that says UNICEF on it and the logo of this person with this baby. And I remember thinking to myself the first time that maybe they're like a new mercenary group that we're gonna like collaborate with because I never heard of UNICEF. So they had some talk with the commander and then at some point they lined everybody up and then they would disarm us and they took my weapon. I was not happy. I was actually very uh, upset because I knew what that meant not to have a weapon in the context that I was in. And then they put us in this vehicle and said, we're going to recover from the war and become a child again. They brought us to a place called Approved School, which became the center that I spent eight months there recovering from the war. It's because of that intervention that took me out of that situation and made other things possible. After I came out of this experience of being a child in war, and I thought to myself, what can I do to give back? What can I do to have people understand the possibilities on the other end, how you can recover from all of that when you're given the right care and support. So I decided to be an example uh, for both people coming out of the struggle, but also people who are doing that work to assist people coming out of that struggle. It's not often you come out of a situation, you meet somebody who has come out of a similar situation like you, and it's doing well and it's standing there. So it gives you hope that you too can do something with yourself. For every child, hope.